I am proud to say it is time for us to repair the forklift and see what wonderful things it unlocks. Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Last Saturday 3 we're here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back at it at none other than the drone update and today we are making our motley way back to the transport hub where something incredible awaits us. Today is the day that we, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, repair the forklift at none other than the transport hub, the brand new location added to the drone update playlist, or uh, er, the drone update, which by the way, I just said playlist because there actually is a drone update playlist. Y'all can go ahead and check out. Link should be in the description. It should be popping up in the top right hand corner of your screen as well, along with throughout the video in the top right hand corner of the screen should be a bunch of uh, bubbles they could go ahead and tap on to go and check out some of the previous last hour videos that we have been doing covering this update. Now, we've already made some incredible progress at the transport hub location, including just last episode, uh, actually going ahead and unlocking this building over here. And we finally got access to it. We could actually get our hands on. Oh, I am being swarmed by zombies. I have made a little bit of a boo-boo. Ho, -boo. oh, ho, ho. Let's go ahead and back it up over here. Do not want to get swarmed by these fellas uh, uh, too much. But actually unlocking that building, which has subsequently did unlock for us the blueprint for crafting the drone upgrade workbench. Now, unfortunately for us, sir, it's, a, it's kind of fortunate, kind of unfortunate. Glass half full, glass half empty. Depends how you look at it. Unfortunately for us, though, we got to get our hands on a ton of iron rods before we can go ahead and create this workbench. Now, on the bright side, that means that we got to clear out the transportation hub a lot because that is one of the places where we can find these iron rods. And hopefully, if we are lucky today, in addition to repairing the forklift and seeing what we can get out of there, uh, we will also be able to get our hands on some iron rods as well. But first things first, we got to go ahead and clear out this nifty little location. And also, there's a cheeky little trick, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that I want to go ahead and show for y'all because this location has an incredible, an incredible spot where you can actually get cheeky with it and wall trick some of your adversaries. That is actually going to be right over here. And okay, never mind. I suppose it is actually a little bit trickier than that because that was just working for me. But now for some reason, it appears like it is not working. Perhaps this has been changed or something recently. But long story short, you used to to be able to and like i don't know maybe it was just like a little bit of bad luck you used to be able to kind of like tuck yourself into this corner right here zombies would keep on swinging at you and it was like the perfect little corner to go ahead and hit some zombies with a wall trick but for some reason the zombies were not about that life uh so let me see if i can go ahead and maybe lure a couple of more zombies over our way first things first we got a note even with the apocalypse was planted as beautiful sunsets mike created a whole lounge zone on the roof so as to remember to enjoy life well he did the best that he could all right good to know thanks for letting me know and i'll just go ahead and lure some of these fast riders over here i just want to give this another go man because like literally the last time that i came over here to the transport hub uh this was working already so unless like this literally just changed that is uh definitely a little bit on the odd side so okay he's able to hit us there and uh, the wall trick is working, but no, like, it's like, as soon as they notice that they can't hit you through the wall, they, like, they, they move around and uh, go and try to hit you like that. But long story short, at least in the past, you were able to do that, but I suppose something with that spot may or may not have changed, which is a little bit of a bummer, but whatevs. Onwards and upwards, y'all know me, blind positivity is all that I'm about, baby, so we are gonna keep it positive and just shoot some zombies in the brains. All right, who, who cares if they can, if we, if we can't use the cheeky spot? Spot any longer that's all right we will continue we'll continue going onwards and upwards so you know that's the way that we do it hope we're out there seven absolutely fair freaking testing they are the most days of writer that only keeps on getting better from here on out whether that be from the video bringing you a smile bringing you a giggle anything or everything like that it does not matter to me how limited joy can go and make its way into your day today i've just crossed my fingers that neatly do that's exactly what that joy do do because not those from a spot on my face like no one that hopefully i might be able to bring one to yours in some way shape form or fashion and Boom! That's sexually surprisingly solid loot. Not as good as I was hoping, because sometimes, dude, a lot of the chests, this is what I love so much about the transport hub, a lot of the chests in this freaking location, man, just have guns. And I mean, like, full durability. Like, I've literally found, like, full durability shotguns, like, for full durability mini Uzis. It, it, it's insane, you know? And, but, I mean, I'll take four copper bars, especially because copper bars are going to be pretty instrumental in crafting one of the new uh, resources as well that was added in this update. Copper wire, I believe, is the name of what I am thinking of. 
but we do have some tricky adversaries uh, coming up here so why don't we go ahead and bring out some pistol drizzle and we'll take things down also uh, birdie on the street you know little birdie on the street has been telling me that supposedly apparently the the butcher boss has actually gotten buffed and yo i gotta be careful because i'm not trying to get spit on by that guy no thank you i'm also bleeding from the smashers definitely do not want that either let's go and hit the acid melter with a little bit of that slow motion do not want to get caught by this guy spitting because that's going to be very obnoxious oh beautiful dodge that right at the last second there and good boy to you my friend uh but yeah apparently the boss over here for the butcher boss supposedly the butcher boss has actually become harder i'm not sure how that's possible but uh, I'm, i don't know man I'm, i haven't seen it firsthand yet i haven't battled the boss since here in this little word on the street but y'all know me i'm always testing things and always showing off everything that new updates do have to offer and supposedly this update uh, you know a little little change has occurred to the butcher boss so maybe we'll get lucky today and we'll get to see the butcher boss in action and see exactly why people are claiming in my comment section and in my in my stream chat that he's gotten more difficult sorry your stream chat yes my stream chat where if you if you guys do not know that link at the very tip of the top of the description twitch that tv slash star slip is where we are live every single friday at 6 p.m eastern time play last night earth having a ball having a blast with the face cam on with the live chat rolling so y'all can literally interact with the stream as things are going on it makes for an absolute blast and an absolute great time and not only that it is just a great way to go ahead and kick off the weekend some bonus last night earth content for y'all and it's just such a unique experience because instead of y'all watching a pre-recorded video y'all are literally able to interact with the video as it's going on literally if you think about it so it's pretty freaking cool and always love being able to see y'all over there because it does make for a fan freaking fantastic time if you don't know what time start the what time that starts in your local time zone twitch.tv slash star says schedule also a link near the top of the description we'll be able to go ahead and help you out because the time zones trust me i'm well aware man to this day i still get tripped up on time zones dog they can definitely be a little bit confusing but luckily twitch.tv slash star says schedule will hopefully be able to help you find out what time that it starts in your own local time zone and then from there i mean once you know what time that it starts in your local time zone that is the same time that we are starting the stream every single week same time at same place friday at 6 p.m eastern time so looking forward to seeing some of your folks ladies and gentlemen boys and girls over there and hopefully y'all come prepared to have a ball because seriously it's so much fun we all are able to come out there and have a blast and it is uh, i don't know man i can't complain i can't complain i'm just always having a jolly time and y'all make the time that much more jolly you know what i'm talking about oh this guy is over here trying to get some jolliness well too bad i've run out of jolly ranchers mr zombie man no jolly for you no 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 my friend not today not today not today the jolly is only for subscribers and fans of star state okay i mean on, on everyone really except zombies i'm sorry if you're a zombie man i got beef with you but like if you're a human being or like a dog or like a cat as long as you're not a zombie man i'm bringing i'm wishing you nothing but the best hopefully most fan freaking tastic uh, just everything imaginable always trying to spread as much positivity as much good vibes as much joy as i possibly can you know so hopefully that is the case now here's the case all right or i should say here's the crates there's three crates and what i have learned from doing this location quite repeatedly is that you never actually know which crate is going to spawn the boss but I hear noises out of this crate, which makes me think that maybe this crate will have uh, someone who isn't the boss. Uh, but just to be safe, man, I'm going to have the AK as our primary weapon scar over there in the backup slot because I just want to play things safe. And who do we have inside of here? Okay, so this is actually where we are going to be able to find the crate. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Just a few pale zombies we got to go ahead and take on down. And then we're going to be able to get some of the best loot you can possibly find inside of this location. Three high tech components i mean outside of the crate that you can drop uh from clearing the inside of the warehouse uh but i mean in, in terms of like actually opening up a crate this thing right here mwah, bloody chef's kiss lads bloody lovely there's no other way of describing it but i'll be uh, taking uh, some of that and now that means that one of these other two crates are going to be where the boss does spot and here's the thing man with that little forklift trick i mean th those of y'all who don't know what that forklift trick was probably just think that i'm insane just talking about a forklift we still gotta repair the forklift all right this is a completely different forklift today's video is very forklift themed if you can't tell but uh yeah this is like you used to just be able to tuck yourself into this corner zombies would swing at you from where lexi is uh, standing and they would not be able to hit you but you would actually be able Able to shoot them from your nifty little spot so that changed in what appears to be like a some sort of like lo logic change that the zombies the npcs got when it comes to attacking you but there are other areas where you can actually go ahead and wall trick like for example i was wall tricking the boss literally right on this wall over here so now i'm also curious to see if this wall trick for the bosses also still works so we will go ahead and be finding that out shortly with the miner oh gosh darn 
Guard at the Miner is like the last person I was hoping to find over here. And uh, it does appear like you are. Okay, well, it, it, it is a little bit tricky. I mean, it, it's, it's I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. It does seem like for whatever reason, a lot of the freaking zombies that do spawn in, just they, they don't appear as susceptible uh, to the wall trick as they used to be. Now, luckily, the miner does have, once he starts going ahead and using us like a little attack over there, does become a little bit more predictable. Although I gotta say, man, the music that the miner does, it does make this boss battle very freaking intense because like, you know, you don't want to be listening to this like high, high intensity music over here because it just makes you think that things are going to go really bad. But I mean, once the miner starts doing things like that you really don't got it like once he starts doing those like kind of like wind, wind up attacks over there like you're gonna be in a lot better shape because you just go ahead and kind of like run from him and as long as you keep on dodging his little like queued up attacks over there you know you're really not gonna be in too shabby of shape now here's the thing next time he goes ahead and tries to hit us with a little some something, something i'm going to see if i can't maybe oh no okay so yeah while he does that i'm just gonna go ahead and just so we are safe get another weapon over there into our backup slot because like eventually oh don't hit me with that he hit me with that uh, our weapon is going to break and I don't want it to break while we are in the middle of, you know, like attacking this guy. That is like the worst time for it to happen because as much as I'd love to punch this guy to death, uh, that's not a very viable option. You want to be a little bit more careful than that. Luckily, with the power of the scar and some of our weapons that we are bringing. I mean, that's the thing, man. The, the thing about the miner, I don't think he's a hard boss, but he's just very intense, especially with the music and everything going on. But as long as you kind of like learn his patterns, he really is kind of easy to dodge once he starts kind of like queuing up his various attacks. Because you just have to get out of the way, and then bada bing, bada boom, see you later, alligator, sending you back to the swamp, baby, and mm mm mm, I will definitely be taking that turbulent card. Thank you very kindly, sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That is gonna be the card that gets us the crate from the inside of the warehouse, but we got a third crate to go ahead and pop on open over here inside of the outside of the transportation hub. Inside of the outside, how does that work? I don't know. Y'all know what I'm getting at, right? Yeah, I make a lot of sense. I am the biggest brain. Come on, let's be honest here. Now, I I do hear some zombie commotion. I don't know if this is going to be inside of the crate or if they are elsewhere, but I suppose we will be finding out in about three, two, one. Oh, oh, the pest! What the heck? I've never actually seen the pest spot in here before. Hold up. Definitely want to go in and take you down because this guy, at least when you kill him, inside of a different location, he actually drops a bunch of loot. Now, is he going to, like, crawl out of here or something? Like, where is he going? As long as we kill him before, like, he disappears for some reason, I think he might drop a lot of loot. Because when you kill him inside of the laboratory, he has a lot of loot in store for you. And boom! He's got these. He drops stuff just like it's the laboratory, apparently. So that caught me off guard. But I'm here for it. That's an easy peasy kill. Man didn't even try fighting back. I, now, here's the thing about that. In, in the laboratory, he, like, runs for his life. Now, I don't know if, like, eventually, if you let the pest live for long enough, if he'll, like, disappear. And you might, like, lose out on some of the loot. But, I mean, you all saw the quality of the loot. Like, not the craziest thing in the universe so kind of you know do with that what you will you know do with that information what you will if you think it's worth taking down the pest or not because they have a decent amount of armor to them you're only doing like about five damage per hit with their m16 which normally should be doing a little bit closer uh to the side of yeah like 13 damage so you had about like 50 percent armor there you know it is what it is but uh all right now you know what is important that we do Clear out the inside of the warehouse. And also, oh, you know what? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to bring an armor piercing weapon. Star, why do you the armor piercing weapon? Because there are going to be a few armor piercing enemies that we encounter. So give me one moment, my friends. I need to go and acquire armor piercing weapon for our escapades. Hoggy doggy artichokies. I have acquired uh, multiple armor piercing weapons. Neutralizer number one, neutralizer number two. Hello, hello. How do you do? And uh, we are going to go ahead and put these puppies into use. But first things first, we got to go ahead and clear out the rest of this warehouse. And we got to be extra, extra careful. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Star is going to be going up a ladder. And this ladder goes up into a death trap because at the very tippity top of this ladder lies a battalion of toxic darters that are immediately gonna start toxic darting on us and we gotta go ahead and take them down before that gets too out of hand which luckily we did do okay with but here's the thing there's gonna be a lot that go ahead and spawn right here so let's just go ahead and try to take this fella down from across the way because i believe when he starts running after us no okay so it's just gonna be a 1v1 i'll take that oh no 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 he does have a friend hello hello friend how are you doing let me go ahead and take you down before you do anything drastic to me. Thank you, thank you, baby. And over here, we got what I believe to be the first crate. We're just gonna go ahead and throw the drone into the backup slot. Dude, I was talking about this actually in the stream too, and I, I may have been talking about it in a video before. I hate that it says drone required, man. And like, it literally, just for you to scan the stupid crate, 
you have to put it in your pocket like last day on earth devs if you are watching this video hey i appreciate the update this location is kind of dope i mean this is the biggest update we've got in a hot minute in terms of like a new location to loot and like a quality location at that man the type of loot you can get out of here seriously caught me off guard the first time that i saw it. but like a little quality of life improvement man you know if it just comes to something as simple as scanning a crate don't require the drone in that backup slot just let, let them exist in let them exist in your inventory yeah i i think that'd be pretty cool now another thing what kind of crate are we gonna get here boom shakalaka beautiful that is actually the settlement crate so that is the thing the second crate that spawns inside of the transport hub has uh, it's it's either going to be a settlement crate or another type of crate i forget what the i think it's like a mechanic crate is might be what it's technically called uh the settlement crate is what you want though because that is gonna be the crate that has a chance of spawning in iron rods so that is huge that we managed to get that there because it's kind of like a little bit of a coin toss um so let's freaking go man that is some cash money right there off the rippity rip but all right all right all right we are gonna have a, another battalion of the toxic daughters in my battalion i mean about three of them really not that bad pretty manageable we managed we managed uh over here we should be able to first things first though do a little bit of looting because after we repaired that bridge in our previous video we now ooh la la fancy schmancy backer magazine i will take that thank you thank you uh we now have access to this uh for eternity you know for the rest of our transportation hub lives which is really cool because you do get some really solid stuff in here including one of the new items you actually get i've literally been getting five drone parts for loot run per loot run uh from doing this and boom man look at that some more air filters and stuff the bummer is though like air filters are like really depending on where you are at in last day on earth can be such a vital and crucial resource but uh, honestly by the time you have the transport hub they probably their value drops off a little bit because you need these to like build uh, your acid bath which is such a crucial component for you know cashing in on flop disc crates uh cashing in on things from the uh, not the laboratory but from the port uh the port keys you know and it's a bummer that you know it's such a steady supply of air filters oh i did not mean to put those away no i'm keep i'm holding on to you dog uh it, it is such a bummer that it does come kind of like this this late in the game you know what i mean now here we are going to have an acid melter that we are definitely going to want to repeatedly dodge because i would like my armor not to get melted thank you thank you and then the next door that we open up is going to be where the hounds come out the metaphorical hounds that is and ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hello hello so i got a ton of plastic at home i'm leaving you behind dog i'm taking the ranch ranches are pretty cool if you ask me please and thank you now 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 how now how now we are gonna have a lot of armor out of me on the other side of this doorway and we're gonna be prepared with neutralizers in my hand and in my pocket boom we just got to be careful not to walk through there but they're gonna be a bunch of explosive zombies so first things first we want to get the explosive zombies to explode while we run away strategically we want to run away from the riot zombies as well while they got their shields down. Let's go and try to get these guys to do their boom boom. Oh, I actually took him down before he even blew up. Love to see that. And then we have a one riot zombie down and another one following a suit. The thing. Oh, put that shield down. Come on. Don't be a weenie, bro. Accept your fate. You're only delaying the inevitable. Yank coming out of this alive, sir. I don't know if you saw what happened to all of your friends, but oh, it's going to happen to you, baby. Uh, and now let's go ahead and open up this, which is where those drone parts should be. Bada bing, bada boom. And also lenses, like seriously, the loot here, it's to this day, man. Still catches me off guard with the pure quality of it. Uh, but whatchamacallit, let me just go ahead and put some weapons back where they belong. Uh, I'll go ahead and just kind of for now, put away the nails, put away that and grab some of these. But yeah, I love the fact that this is essentially like every time I've come here, I don't know if y'all have seen it otherwise, let me know that comment section down below. But every time I open up this chest, five drone parts guaranteed which is pretty cool because I have not found drone parts anywhere else. So the fact that we have a steady supply coming just from looting the transport hub every two days, massive, massive, baby. We love that, especially because I believe those parts are gonna be very crucial. Uh, once we build the drone upgrade workbench, I believe those drone parts are gonna be an integral part of actually assembling those various uh, upgrades and mods and stuff. Now, here's the thing. We got an acid multer coming our way. We're just gonna go ahead and let him do his thing. Sidestep him a little bit. Oh no, don't get spit on by you. But just take it down the easy way. Thank you, thank you. And then uh, we should have another a little box over here that we can go ahead and pop on open. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Oh, 
Ooh, okay, I'll take that, man. More air filters, more wrenches, a little bit of fiberglass while we're at it. Seriously, the loot here. Mwah. Chef's kiss, I tell you. Let's go ahead and open up that doorway, though. And there is our adventure, our, our, our little excursion into that side location is donezo. Onwards and upwards, though, with the current thing. And also, while we're at it, I mean, okay, I'm not going to cash that in quite yet because uh, I, I just get skeptical. You know, I, I don't want to cash it in until I know for a fact that I want to do it. I just want to hold, like, just in case something happens. I don't know, in case, like, the zone resets and I lose all my stuff. I don't know. I'm just sketched out. I'm holding, I'm holding that into my pocket until I got to use it. You know what I mean? Uh, but let's go over here. We are going to be greeted by a acid melter right up in our face Which is actually gonna be really bad because uh, okay, okay Actually not as bad as I thought that it might be we were able to sidestep that pretty effectively and see you later alligator We do have oh that toxic darter got me Dude, no way. He's freaking sniping me through the wall. When did that happen? What he did he did not used to be able to do that. What in tarn diddly nation? Okay, that was weird. I was getting sniped through the wall by the toxic darter. I've never had that happen before, but it just started happening. I am confusion. Now, there are gonna be a bunch of enemies down here before we uh, even worry about starting to deal with them. Here's what we are gonna do. First things first, we are gonna run down this ladder. We are gonna have a toxic, a very angry toxic darter. We're gonna, oh no, no, we got a, we got a lot of very angry enemies, a lot of very angry carrions. Okay, but they have separated from the toxic dart and my armor is also on the verge of destruction Dude, I hate having to fight so many of these at the same time because every time they hit us They also okay, dude, this is like really bad actually, but all right, we're, we're thinning the herd a little bit We're taking them down one by one. This is a okay. 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 Okay. A okay. A I just hate that freaking dart or being annoying. He does 40 guaranteed damage Seriously such an obnoxious opponent because he's guaranteed to do 40 damage doesn't matter Dude, if I was a riot zombie and I had my shield up, right, he would still do 40 damage to me. It does not matter if you're naked or if you have impenetrable armor crafted by the gods of last day on earth themselves. He's doing 40 damage to you. It's obnoxious. But you know, it's not obnoxious the fact that he might be like, Star, this, this right here has very good stuff. You, you, you want to know why? He might be like, Star, on the map, it is just a black box. It is a mystery. Oh, but guess what? A mystery is meant to be explored. You step foot inside, ba-boom, there is loot. And if I have learned anything in my last day on Earth adventures, loot is good. The loot is good, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we got some cogs. We got some other solid stuff. Honestly, all things considered, this is a pretty tame loot run. I have gotten much better stuff in the past. Like, I think I found an Uzi in that chest that we just popped on open uh, in the past. Whereas this time, you know, it was a little bit less crazy. Uh, we do have a little chest over here. I will take this. Thank you. Thank you. What you got for me, baby? Some more coppers, some more medical supplies. I'll be uh, taking that. I'll probably come back for that first aid kit because we're starting to run a little bit low from the boss battle and from the carrions and the armored enemies and all that obnoxious, man. The absolute menaces. Let's not get hurt by you too much. Forklift! I'll be repairing you incredibly shortly. Don't even worry about that, dog. I will be right back to tend to you after we loot up the rest of this joint. Let's see what we got over here inside of this box. Nothing too crazy. I'll go ahead and use up that bandage, though. Thank you, thank you. Let's go up the ladder. And we should be able to unlock a little thing here with the drone. Let's just throw the drone into the necessary slot right over there. And while we're at it as well, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell. Hit, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, so we're staying in the loop with all the latest and greatest of last day on Earth. Because as soon as we learn new things about the game, we are always trying to share them with you absolutely ASAP. But of course, when a new update finally does come to the game, like the drone update, we are covering the bejesus out of it and doing absolutely all that we can. Boom! Love to see that. Uh, covering the bejesus, bejesus out of it and showing off all that we possibly can about the update in all of its glory and it's been a pretty gloriful one so far if you ask me uh i mean okay i'll i'll probably just end up coming back for the stuff man our inventory is looking pretty chock full of stuff and we kind of got to make a little field trip back home uh to drop i mean i'll drop off some of the loot that i got and also i'm going to come back with all this because i didn't want to come with all this right away right which is why i didn't have it in my inventory you might be like star you were never going to repair forklift in the first place you are a big fat liar no my comrade my friend i am not i just did not want to come here with inventory full of loot you know when i knew that there are many battles to be had okay instead i clear out location make location safe go back to base drop off the loot and then i come back with some of the resources and we are good baby we are good so be right back and we return and if my inventory isn't a clue as to what we have come with we've come 
prepared. That's 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 how we have arrived, baby. All right, and our inventory is chock full of emptiness, which is perfect because we need it to be empty for all the loot that we're about to get. Capiche, capiche. All right, without further ado, let's make our way over. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am proud to say it is time for us to repair the forklift and see what wonderful things it unlocks. First, it raises a box about 10 feet off the ground. Next, I climb the ladder, walk my way over here, and uh, we, we have just unlocked the ability to scan the fourth crate that up until now has constantly been locked behind the forklift. And from what the birdies on the street have been telling me, supposedly this is the crate that actually can drop like drone parts and like drone blueprints and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and see exactly what the situation is looking like once we go ahead and double back our pretty patooties back on over to none other then the place where we put the card in and it drops the crate and then we loot up the crate and become very happy. Yes, yes, I like, I like. I did not open that door. Oh, the horror. All right, let's make our way over here though. And now it is time for us to go ahead, throw the card into the cargo delivery terminal, access the terminal, authorization gained, and the fourth brand spanking new crate indeed diddly do ladies and gentlemen it appears to be exactly what i was just describing the possibility for blueprints on drone modules and then uh, 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 so actually you can get freaking armor piercing weapons out of this crate too which seems kind of cracked yo uh tactical backpack drone parts rotor raiders badly batter armor i mean these are just gonna be like nine out of the many things that we can get unfortunately though ladies and gentlemen uh, it hurts me to say this, but we need to capitalize upon the fact that we are lucky enough to have gotten the, the this crate because this crate doesn't always appear and this is the crate that spawns in in addition to like copper wire and iron frames which are some of the new items in the update that we actually need for continuing to progress through some of the new quest lines also iron rods which we also need to progress through the new quest line so as much as i want to see the mystery behind what's behind this crate we are going to have to wait until the next time that we come here and we don't see this crate present because as long as this crate is present we need to do everything in our power to get our hands on iron rods uh, at the moment but then this one doesn't always appear so the next time that it does not appear we will be opening up this crate over here because i definitely want to see what's over there and then of course i mean we know some of the goodies we could get out of, out of like the blackport pd box freaking purple cards first box always ends up being kind of mids but the rest of them are freaking nice man so without further ado let's unload this puppy and let's see exactly what awaits us. Fingers crossed it's some iron rods. Please, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Boom, we got six of them, baby! Yes! That is massive! Dude, I only got like three of them last time. We just got a lot more than three last I checked. If my math is correct, the moon, no. Yes, Sursky! That's what we're talking about. And of course, we get you get some other great stuff along the way, but woo That is a thing of beauty there, lads. And last season, I am a happy camper with that. Now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very unfortunate number of iron rods. This is only six of them. We, I believe, have three at home. But if we wanted to repair the final watchtower for the quest line, um, we actually need 10 so we are still one iron rod short from being able to do that But on the bright side of things we do have enough now To go ahead and build the drone upgrade workbench should we choose so we are now faced with a tough decision that frankly I would love to hear y'all's feedback in as well Do we continue holding out and saving up our iron rods for repairing the watchtower? Or do we just kind of say, let's, let's get let's get the spending, baby, and uh, dropping it on that drone workbench over there. And just to do a quick little tally of all of the loot that we got, I mean, here's also a little bit of a bummer. We only have three copper wire, and we actually need a lot of copper wire for a a actually a lot of the stuff that we want to go ahead uh, and do. We do have, uh, whatchamacallit, ooh, you know what? I think I actually... 
Actually, I might have some copper wire back at the settlement too. Uh, I believe I have our iron rods and a bunch of these resources back over at the settlement. So yeah, actually, quick little, quick little detour. We're making our way over to the settlement. I believe this is where I've actually got the rest of my copper wire. I, I, I swear I got more than three, man. But I just want to go ahead and give you all a quick little sanity check and show you all what our tally of loot from these transport hub runs are looking like currently. Uh, because, I mean, really to move forward, it's going to need iron rods and copper wire uh, for building up the watchtower. I believe it's 10 iron rods and 20 copper wire. Or for building up the workbench, just 8 iron rods. But then I believe the workbench is a second stage, which is a little bit more pricey. So, yeah, okay, so we're actually up to 6 copper wire total. Uh, but, 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 we actually do have, boom, nine iron rods available to us. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and swap, uh, swap those. And I feel like that makes a lot more sense to have over there. But I, I'm actually, oh, really? I only have two of those frames. I could have swore I had more than two of the iron frames. But I guess that we only have two of them, which is interesting but yeah as y'all can tell a lot of new resources have been added in this update and uh we definitely want to continue collecting the bejesus out of which which is why that crate that we opened up today was so important ladies and gentlemen uh i mean th that is the only crate we can rely on to have a lot of this new settlement loot because uh, like if you wanted to craft these the the crazy thing is you need to have to, to unlock these things right in the rewards you, you need to have level four stuff and to get level four stuff i mean you're gonna need to have a level four wall which is very expensive man like it is not easy to be able to produce the stuff on your own so being able to collect it from those crates is massive so if a settlement crate is possible or if that crate is possible to get in the transport hub gonna be grabbing it but the next time that that crate does not appear we are gonna go ahead and grab the fourth crate and see what it can hold in store for us because it seems like every crate gets better and better the further into the warehouse and the transport hub that you get so i am very curious to see what indeedly do is going to await us over there but with that said with that done, ladies and gentlemen boys and girls alas that is gonna start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth thank you guys a whole lot for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya